Welcome to the Hairdresser Power Challenge, where stylists test their limits of creativity and experience. Celebrity judges will score them on cut, color, and overall transformation. Join us as we find out who has what it takes to be the next Hairdresser Power Challenge champion. Hello and welcome to the Hairdresser Power Challenge. I'm your host and fellow hairdresser, Patrick Dockery. Today we have some of the most creative hairdressers from across the nation. And now, let's meet our stylists and their models. Let's meet our first contestant, Lizette Diaz and her model, Nubia. Hi, my name is Lizette Diaz and I'm from El Centro, California. I love being a hairdresser because I get to change women's lives every day. Seeing their self-confidence boost as they see their new look, it's just so gratifying to see the change that we can do for them. My greatest strength is coloring. I do a lot of um, bleach, platinums, and I can pretty much do any color asked for. My biggest weakness as a hairdresser is say no to people with black box dye on their hair. I just always want to transform that color, so that's my biggest weakness. My experience level as a hairdresser is I've been in the industry for 17 years. I love every second of it. I love going to hair shows and fashion shows in LA and that's how we keep up to date because we're trendsetters. Our second contestant is Jessica Lucas and her model, Jessie. My name is Jessica Lucas and I'm from Orange County, California. I love being a hairdresser because I absolutely love making women feel beautiful every single day and seeing their confidence change from when they sit in my chair to when they leave. I'm very detail oriented and meticulous. I love doing blondes and extensions because I love the tediousness of it. Because I'm so meticulous, I have a problem with timing. Sometimes it takes me a little longer than what I expect, so that's gonna be my challenge today. <laughs> and finally, we have Ashley McCluskey and her model, Iris. My name is Ashley McCluskey, and I am from San Diego, California. I love being a hairdresser because I was raised in the industry, and it just has a special place in my heart. My greatest strength as a hairdresser, I would say, would probably be color. I just have a lot more background, and I studied it a lot more. I've been licensed barber for going on three years now. Um, but I grew up in it. It's something that it's in my blood. Welcome to round one, where our stylists will have two and a half hours to do a cut and color transformation. Let's set the clock and let the competition begin. Today for my model, I have planned to make her into a mermaid corn. She's a beautiful disaster, so um, we're gonna do some fun, unconventional coloring to her hair and some rainbows that are very popular right now, so that's what our goal is today. My biggest challenge today would probably be timing. Hopefully I could just get everything done swiftly and stay on time. The look that I'm going to do today is I'm going to be taking my model from Plain Jane to Festival Girl. What Festival Girl is, is basically fun, funky. I'm going to be doing like a shortcut with some texture, throwing in some fun color as well. And my style is going to be completed with something very fun and funky. My biggest challenge for today will be my timing and making sure that I finish on all the markers for what we need to finish our looks. Uh, today with my model, I'm going to add a lot of layers to the hair, give it a lot of movement and I'm going to balayage, add really nice dimension to her hair. Very subtle, but beautiful look. My biggest challenge today is I'm coming in not fully prepared. I was a standby, someone didn't show up, so I'm kind of just throwing this all together today.
Color, True Color Care, high performance vegan formulas, and our exclusive organic super complex provides stronger, healthy hair, beautiful color, and gorgeous results. To find a Kalur salon near you, visit our salon locator at kalurhaircare.com. How do you define beauty? Is it the way you look or how you feel? Or does it come from within? At Enjoy Professional Hair Care, we believe the question doesn't even matter. Beautiful hair is as easy as remembering to enjoy. Let us recommend the right products for your hair type and find an Enjoy Professional Salon near you at enjoyhaircare.com. And just remember to enjoy. Welcome back. Each contestant has had two and a half hours to complete their cut and color transformation. Let's meet our distinguished panel of judges and see what they think. Hello everybody, my name is Dennis Gebhardt. Uh, why do I love being part of this business? Uh, that's a hard question to answer because this has been my life for almost four decades. I'm not only a licensed hairdresser, but I also have a degree in chemistry. What I love about this industry is that we are able to create an art form and it's an art form that other people are willing to wear 24 seven. Even fashion designers don't have that fortune. So for me, that's very exciting. And it's a life changing business. We take someone who is slightly intimidated or maybe a little self-conscious and we do our magic and we create confidence and self-awareness. I've competed in competitions both domestically and internationally. So this is a world that I'm very familiar with. So for me today, I am going to look to see, number one, who has a vision, and number two, who can execute that vision with the appropriate skills and bring it to fruition. All right, so Ashley, uh, in the haircut portion, you didn't really take off a tremendous amount. Of course, we know that's because you just cut her hair on Sunday. <laughs> so yeah. so uh, I understand that completely. In the color portion, uh, as well, I give you kudos for this because you were lightening not through virgin hair, but through previously tinted hair. But I thought it was amazing that you took her to the shampoo bowl and you balanced it out using the toning shampoo to where it did not have that same harshness to it. What I'm looking at there, I see just, it looks more like a soft dimension between her natural color and what you've done with the tone. I'm Hector Rodriguez and I'm from Los Angeles, California. And I love being a hairdresser because I can sculpt with hair cutting and paint with hair color. So I've been in the game for 32 years. I assisted some amazing people from Sebastian to Sassoon. I think it's very important to work under great people. I've had opportunities to work with some amazing stars in the past, some rock stars, some pop stars, movie stars, uh, various charities. I've learned amazing techniques and I grab a little something from everybody that I come into touch with and I, I incorporate it into what I do and make it my own. And I've uh, recently taken on the moniker of El Chapo because I'm a cutter. Your haircut, there's some pieces there that weren't there for the right reasons. Um, your color, I like that you did take her back to the shampoo bowl and did more of a tone on tone with her because that first toner that you chose, it was too light to tone a dark and you didn't get the right tone that right. you wanted. Yeah. 
but uh, I'd like to see what you, what the finished product looks like. So Jessica, I have good news for you. You, in the hair cutting portion, made the most contrast in your model of any of the others. So kudos to you. In your haircut, your shape, even though your shape is there, there are some areas where it needs to be polished. Uh, in the color application, I know you called this a balayage, but to me, when I try to read this, it doesn't read as a balayage for me. It reads as an ombre, meaning that it looks more solid. It's just regrowth with a solid tone on it. So that concerns me. Some of your application, I noticed that there were some lines, hard lines that were still left in some of those sections. So that bothers me as well, hand painting. And then you have uh, your left side is deeper than your right side. So you don't have the balance and lightness. And so that's the reason I said to you, <laughs> tell me you left that on purpose. <laughs> so Jessica, on your haircut, I like that you took a lot of length off and I like that you really went uh, dramatic with the cut. Um, there's some parts in there that are, you know, disconnected and I think with a little bit more detail, a little bit more refinement, you can make that haircut really amazing. Color-wise, same thing as Dennis said, but I think in the time that you have after, you can change this and, and really make that blend out and, and give us a nice presentation in your final look. Alright, so Lizette, your haircut was minimal, virtually no haircut at all. You know, I can't really give you points on point cutting into point cutting. For me as a judge, you know, that's the low end of this piece. I have good news. Your color application is relevant to what's happening in color today. So that's huge. But here's the thing about fashion colors, is that when you do these, they have to either be fashion or not look like you've not committed completely. On some of your lines, you're not even. When you make horizontal lines, they have to be precise because visually that's what you're going to see. Again, Dennis uh, touched on a good thing. It's very modern and very now, the color. I think the placement will change when you, of course, dress it. And uh, to the haircut, when you said she has extensions, so we want to keep that length. I think that's when you would take advantage of having extensions and giving us a really dramatic change. Enjoy. To receive pleasure or satisfaction. To feel or perceive with pleasure. To be delighted with. To enjoy great hair seven days a week. So, what is your definition? To enjoy great hair, visit enjoyhaircare.com. Go to our product recommender to answer six simple questions and let us select the best products for your hair type. Use the salon locator to find Enjoy Hair Care near you. And just remember to enjoy. Color True Color Care, high performance vegan formulas, and our exclusive organic super complex provides stronger, healthy hair, beautiful color, and gorgeous results. To find a Kalur salon near you, visit our salon locator at kalurhaircare.com. Welcome back. The scores are in for round one. Round one is worth 40 points. 
10 points for color and 10 points for cut for a total of 20 points from each judge. And now let's see what the judges think. In the lead, we have Jessica with a total of 26 points for cut and color. Followed by Lizette with a total of 23 points. And finally, we have Ashley with a total of 19 points. Don't worry, your favorite Silas can still come back to win this because round two is worth 40 points and it's still anyone's game. All right, so how are you guys feeling about what's gone on so far? I just got thrown into this and my mom has previously colored hair, doesn't want to do anything crazy, so I, I'm just working within what I, what I have. You did good for what you have. I was actually surprised that I got the highest score, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely thought you would get the highest score because your rainbow hair was so pretty. Thank but you. I think that once I pull my whole look together, yeah. that I'll feel like more confident on right. it. Right, yeah. Because once right it's now, styled, it puts it together. It was a little upsetting because I didn't do like a lot of the haircut, but the little yeah. bit of the haircut I did do, I thought it was like really good. I did some feathering around the face and stuff. I was a little disappointed on that, but I know um, I did a great color and I, I'm so excited about the styling that we're gonna do, so we'll see. Good yeah. luck to everyone. I yeah. know, good luck. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to round two, where stylists have one hour to complete their looks with styling, makeup, and then a brief photo shoot. Now let's put one hour on the clock and let the games begin. All right, the final looks are in. Now remember, one of the most important things about this show is the transformation. And now we will have a 10 minute photo shoot to compare the before and the after. This is where the models really kick in and make the difference. So let's go upstairs and see what happens. So Ashley, I think that you did a very valiant effort today in uh, being part of this uh, challenge. In the setting and styling, I think that you probably had some challenges because there wasn't enough structure built into that. I mean, you used the iron on her hair, but it didn't seem to have enough structure. So when we got up there for photo, we had to really work with the hair to get that shot. And so um, other than that, I thought it was, it's a nice look, but the shot was hard to find, the right shot that would work. Beautiful pictures, but we were looking for a really great, great shot. Ashley, yeah, I commend you to step in um, like you did today and uh, do what you did. Uh, again, the color uh, turned out a lot better than I thought when you were uh, painting it on um, with uh, the, the lightener, and I think you toned it out to a really great, great tone-on-tone uh, -tone color. The style, I think you just played it safe, again. This is a challenge. You want to push those limits. We want to do something that we don't do in the salon every day. And uh, it's a beautiful style, but it, I think you just played it safe. Yeah.
Beautiful hair starts with beautiful color. At Enjoy Professional Hair Care, we know what it takes to maintain beautiful and vibrant hair color. With our gentle, sulfate-free, pH-balanced formulas, with Color Keeper technology, we take the guesswork out of maintaining beautiful color. Most products don't address the main cause of fading hair color, which is a high pH. When pH levels are too high, the cuticle of the hair shaft is forced wide open, allowing the color molecules to simply wash away down the drain with your time and money. Enjoy professional line of shampoos and conditioners are pH balanced and stable, locking in the color molecules, keeping your hair looking sexy, shiny, and beautiful. So the next time you're thinking about your hair color, just remember to enjoy. In this round, the judges have the ability to give each stylist up to 20 points, making this round worth a potential 40 points. Okay, so Jessica, like we've said before, you made the biggest contrast. Your color, I think you went back and refreshed or you toned that, right? Because I was concerned about you making sure that you toned it properly and all that. I'm not sure that everything all worked when we were looking for the photos. Mm -hmm. I mean, fortunately you have a model who's, she's very attractive. You know, she photographs very well. I would have liked to have seen, you know, a little bit, more continuity. I know it's festival, that's the theme. I'm still trying to see that right. and everything. For me, it seemed to, it just didn't click as well as I wanted it to. And that's why in photographs, we had a really tough time finding a photo that we can really use. Jessica, when you uh, cut that hair off, I was really impressed when it, you know, when you cut that much length off and I was really excited to see uh, the transformation. When you did the color and you first took it off, I was concerned that it just wasn't the right tone, but I'm really glad that you took her back and you, you really brought that color back in and really made it pop. The styling, you went for festival and you got festival, I believe, very, very much. But again, this is a challenge and you wanna push the limits a little bit more. Um, but I think you, you, you got what you wanted.
All right, so Lizette, the transformation is very, very important. But what's most important is the finishing photo. When I looked at the hair, when I watched you as you were dressing it, I kind of had a few small heart attacks because I saw you set the curl and then I saw you pull the curl out. And I was really concerned about where you were going with that. When I looked at the photos, absolutely stunning photos. So you need to give her a lot of credit because she sold it for you. So great job. So yeah, Lizette, when you, when you did your color, um, I, I was very happy with your color. I thought it was very now and very up to date and very, uh, really pretty. Uh, when you were styling it, I thought you were playing it safe. You know, kind of what we see kind of on Instagram. And of course, this is a challenge to push the limits. But again, when the photos came out, it, it really read really well on uh, camera. Well, the judges have spoken and the scores are in. In second place, with a total of 52 points, we have Jessica Lucas. And in first place, with a one point lead for a total of 53 points, we have Lizette Diaz. Congratulations to all our contestants. Thank you for watching and be sure to join us as we find out who will be the next Hairdresser Power Challenge champion. And always remember to support your stylist and buy your product from a trusted professional source.